Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. Here at the Ramblin' Railroad, we do strive for realism wherever we can, given the limitations of the game, and of course, my patience. Here we got Beast, loaded up with our standard load. You'll notice that the, uh, the Iron Ore Hoppers are back on board this train, and that's because I'm really excited for this episode. I just spent the last 11 or 12 hours or so of game time spread out over the last three days or so remaking all of the routes that were troublesome for this new update, the new beta update with the upgraded physics. We now have no routes at all that go over 3% minus one route that is a downhill only route, which I have decided that is a downhill only route, and one very short section of 4%, which we'll talk about when we get there. So let's take this load up to the iron ore mine. We're not gonna drop it off because I wanna test it on another one that I actually haven't tested yet, but according to the calculator, it should work just fine. Now, and speaking of calculator, there is a new calculator that showed up on Discord that uh, let's go take a look at right now. This calculator is actually much more simple than the last one that I showed you. And this one, you actually open it from Discord via Google Docs. And you come up here to file, make a copy. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. And that'll give you right access to this calculator. And as you can see versus the last one, it is very simple compared. And so all we need to do is come up here and drop this down. And let's pick the D and RG class 70. We got nine of the flat car tier two punch that in there and actually oh hold on a second uh, let's change this to six of these and let's make that beams and then we'll do that again the uh, flat car tier two and do three of them for lumber and do we have a cabooses on here we got a bobber caboose on here so let's add one of those it shouldn't have anything, it doesn't. And according to this setup, we can go up a 4.32% uh, theoretical grade without any curves. That is completely straight and it again, it is theoretical. So it really depends again on curvature and actual grade percent. So this calculator is actually really simple to use and I really do like it versus that other one. It's got a lot more information on the other one, but it uh, the other one, you can kind of play with things a little more. This one's just kind of down and dirty, and you can really figure things out. This is our main one. Let's add in, just for fun, these hoppers. Uh, we normally carry two of them, and they're usually unloaded, so uh, now we can go up to a 3.97% grade. So we'll be testing that today, and uh, th this is actually a pretty cool uh, calculator. Thank you to the developer that made this. It is uh, much more easier to use and understand than the other one, though I will likely be using both of them at the same time. So I'll be using both of those calculators from now on. Uh, I like the first one because it does show a lot more information, but the second one is very simple. And sometimes simple is quick and easy and easy to understand. So I'll be using both of them, and I suggest that uh, if you're playing this game as well, maybe you should as well. As you can see here, we're, we are at the sawmill, and the sawmill pond is empty. We're starting to run a little low on supplies here. I think we're down into the 80s, I believe. I think a last check. Uh, 72, actually, of the lumber. So... Uh, I have been testing as I've been going along, and I figure if I'm going to be testing, I might as well be delivering to get everything kind of filled up. So I'm not sure how we're doing here on fire. Let's take a look. I just loaded loaded into the game. We're good on fire. We're definitely good on water. Let's get in and get going here. We'll, of course, enter the vehicle and drive from this view. I do like to drive in the cab view, but uh, for videoing, this view seems to be better. 
And we'll uh, go ahead and cut here, and when we get to the saddle, we'll pick it back up. All right, just like that, we're clearing the saddle. This route I haven't done yet, the one down to the smelter, but I did do a lot of re, uh, rerouting of this route. This route, of course, is the secondary iron ore mine route. And we do have the two hoppers. They are unloaded with nine cars of these 200 series, the T2 stake flat cars and a caboose. Uh, I did catch a little criticism for carrying the caboose. Uh, yes, I do know that it does have weight. I misspoke in one of the earlier videos. That's kind of a little sharp there. Maybe I should focus on redoing that curve. <laughs> Just noticed things were tipping a little bit as we were going around there. So anyway, they said that the caboose does have weight. And of course, I know it does have a little bit of weight. You can find that in the purchasing menu of, the, of there. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I, li I like having the caboose on board. I don't like counting, as most of you may know, I don't do very well with math. Uh, and I just, that's a quick and easy visual that tells me that we have the entire train. If it becomes a problem, then of course I will, I will be removing the, the, the caboose altogether. So this does climb up a little bit. Uh, as you can hear, we are chuffing down. And right in this area, I need to actually start picking up speed because you're going to see a major change to our route. Right around this bend. So I'm calling this route the Toilet Bowl route. And you're going to see why in just a second. You're also going to notice that I did leave the original track. And you'll see that all over the place today. I will go back after this video and delete all of that old track. But for now, I'm going to leave it just as a good guide, uh, a good visual as to where we were and where we are now. So this is a toilet bowl. Uh, for obvious reasons, we go underneath this bridge. You can see the caboose does glitch underneath there, which I'm not a huge fan of. But that's the only spot that is like that. Um, I did have a hard time with this uh, toilet bowl, but I did get it to work, and we are now at 3% pretty much the entire way to the iron ore mine. We just kind of do a little curly coup here, give a little bit of altitude in a very short period of distance, and we'll start hugging this wall. You can see that we are at 100% regulator. And this is a taxing effort for this locomotive, the Beast, the DNRG Class 70. But it does a pretty good job. I've tested this route once or twice now. And so far, uh, I have not actually derailed or lost too much power. We'll kind of follow this mountain along the side here with the steel bridge, which I do kind of like. You know, it's not horribly unrealistic. I really wish we could blast into the side of the mountain and create a, a route there but we're not there yet in this game so it is what it is you'll hear us really chuffing down here but we shouldn't actually come to a stop we'll slow down a little bit but we'll keep going around here this is a really sharp curve uh, apparently my computer's thinking about something this is a pretty sharp curve not like the last one, but it is still pretty sharp. I do need to put a little bit of final polish onto this route. And this might be one of these curves that gets kind of fixed. A little tippy, not too bad. We're still at 100% regulator. This is again 3%. That other car curve is way down there. This is actually where I started this entire route, was right there on that little knoll. That I figured that was the highest point. I was wrong, but that was the highest point for this area. This continues to climb 3% all the way to the iron ore mine. And here's that other route down there. And again, I'll go 
delete all this after this video just to clean it up I just wanted a good visual of where we were and where we are now this bridge right here actually took quite a while just going from this point right here to the iron ore mine took probably a good hour trying to get it just right of course I cut back all the trees and made it so I can actually pan the camera around without too much interruption with the trees which I really do like I do like trees in real life, but in this game they are more of a nuisance than they are anything. So now we're coming into the iron ore mine. We're going to start picking up speed, so I'm going to get off the regulator a little bit. You're going to immediately notice a major difference off to the left-hand side here. I did put in the siding. And I put in a train house. Engine house. We'll come up here a little bit and come to a stop and take a closer look at it. So here we have our round table. Our turntable. We've got our water tower. And this hooks in up over here to the main line. I tried putting in some sort of fueling station. I kind of wanted to build this out as a, a full train station here, uh, but there's just not a lot of room. And for a fueling station, I'd have to do like a siding or something along those lines. Uh, and it was just kind of a big pain in the butt. So I decided to forego the fueling station. The Class 70 carries a lot of firewood. And with the new mechanics of how it burns the firewood you know firewood lasts a long long time inside the boiler and inside the firebox so that's really not a concern I did put the train house here and I put it up on some foundation pieces as you can see because it is kind of a short area and where I put it initially this side it's kind of might, might be kind of hard to see is actually kind of dips down a little bit and it was making it look kind of weird so I initially did the normal groundwork and what really helped me was when I went into the options menu and I turned off the foliage or turn it to low hit apply changes back back continue this is what it looks like so when I was laying down the normal groundwork I was having these sharp edges and it didn't look right so I went over it with the stone wall, and I really like this look. I could have got these a little bit closer. I was trying to get these to be, we got some flashing going on, trying to get these rock walls right along the side, make it look more like a foundation, but you know, it could be like a flower bed or something like that, some, something kind of cool. So we'll turn the foliage back on. Again, that's under graphics, turn up the high. There we go. So uh, that that really has been helping me for laying groundwork and seeing it when it's the groundwork's really low, going through this foliage layer. With the ground texture like this, the groundwork actually blends in really well. When I come through to lay track, it uh, makes the groundwork actually disappear. So turning off that foliage layer, turning it way, way down like that really helps. So I don't actually have anything in here right now. We can open up the door and take a look. Uh, but what I was thinking was, you know, there might be a, um, a switching locomotive up here and maybe like a, a gear driven locomotive for rescuing. You know, if we get stuck on the grade or something like that, they could be up here. We can run up here, grab it and actually pull the locomotive up the hill if we need it. Uh, so far, as we can see, we're up here with our standard loadout. I can actually unload. Uh, this entire train and fill up with uh, iron ore and head back down the mountain heading this way and this is that section that I didn't touch so from this switch right here on down almost to the iron ore mine or no, excuse me to the smelter is completely 
untouched. It, we still got that 6% grade, those S curves. I think we got some 5% in there. But again, this is all gonna be downhill. If we need to go up it for some reason, I'm not sure what that reason might be. It might be that we just need to get up here with a gear driven train with a load of these uh, iron ore hoppers uh, that we, we could do that with a gear driven train. It's not too much of a, of a route. We could use a turntable the, to turn the engine around and hook on to the other end of the train and head back down the same hill down to the smelter. That's kind of my thought process on that. So this is what it is. I would like to kind of build it out better, make it more like a train station, but I think this is a, a pretty good start and I'm, I'm impressed with it. it. Took a lot of work. I spent a couple hours up here total. Uh, and it's one of those things that I wasn't planning on doing. It just kind of happened. Uh, because when I started building, you know, that route, the secondary route, uh, the toilet bowl route, I, I couldn't stop when I got up here. I just kept going. So with that said, let's keep going and we'll get down to the next section where I did actually do some more work. All right, we just crossed that river. One of the reasons why I have the hoppers on board is because I wanted to see if I could do that secondary iron or, iron or mine route with the hoppers because I unload the lumber there at the mine and fill up with ore and come down the hill. Those hoppers weigh a ton. So, I'd like to be able to do this mixed train. That way I'm not coming this route and all the way back to the sawmill completely unloaded. And right here, we're gonna start uh, our next big change to the Ramblin' Road Railroad. Come across this little wooden bridge here. We're gonna hook it to the left and start going downhill. Now this is the first time this has actually been tested. You can see our old route here with Calamity Bridge. Now we have a new bridge that kind of starts going down here. Again, I have not tested. This is the first run on this bridge. I don't know if it's going to work. We might derail this. I'm not sure. We'll find out. This is 3% with some curves. I tried again to follow the uh, layout of the land the best I could. This bridge was not easy. To put down. Looks like this turn right here might be really sharp. Uh oh. I'll have to watch it here. I didn't see that when I was building it. Looks like we're going to be okay, but that is too sharp. I do need to fix that. We got some stone groundwork here. And then we've got to get off the brake. And then we have our new bridge. This is a five degree radius bridge. Cuts across here. Makes it that makes those uh, transitions not nearly as sharp like it was. And then this starts going down right at the front of the locomotive here. Again, three percent. I left the old groundwork here. And we're going to get down to the smelt. We're going to flip around and see if this Class 70 the Beast can actually pull this grade with a load. Again, not really tested. Ooh, we got some tippiness there. Those lightweight, lighter cars kind of tipping around. It's kind of concerning. Then we got a wood bridge that kind of follows this bull. I tried putting it onto the uh, landscape itself without using a bridge, but I got to brake hard. We're going way fast. 
The ground is so uneven, it looked really weird, and I didn't like it, so I opted for the bridge. And this is like a 25 degree radius in here. Again, we'll flip around and try and climb this grade with this same train just to see how well it's going to work. All right, we are rounding this loop here at the smelter. And this train will probably never go this way. The reason I say that is because I don't think these wood products will ever go up to the iron mine this way. This, this is the little roundabout way. What this test is all about is seeing if this train, this locomotive, the Class 70... Oh, I'm braking. I, I thought I was hitting a regulator. To see if this Class 70 can pull this new route with a load. Uh, when I did test it, I didn't actually have a load on. It was empty cars. And it did well with empty cars. So this is going to be the first run with actual load on the train to see if it will do it. Again, I don't know what the coal mine needs, which we do need to figure out real terribly soon, not what the coal mine me needs, but what the smelter products, where they need to go. Again, don't tell me. I'd like to figure that out for myself, and that'll be real soon. Maybe at the end of this episode, depending on how long this takes. So we're starting to climb, so I'm going to go full regulator. This is nice and straight. And we start turning pretty sharp. I wish I could have got this turn a little bit, you know, maybe not as sharp, maybe come over here more along this, the side of the, of the hill. Got some tippiness there. Just kind of watching the train, looking for issues. Watching the locomotive. This is 3%, except for right here. So I left this piece of groundwork here as a reminder. This bit of track we are on right now is actually 4%. And the reason why is because I had this curve like this initially. And I made all of this work and I was laying the track and I, I was clearing the forest. I was like, why did I curve it like a big old S curve for no reason? I can certainly straighten this out and make it a lot you know, better, a lot straighter. So I did that, but it didn't quite match up. I had to adjust that section of track just from there to there, like four car lengths to 4%. I believe that's where it was at. It might've been this section. I don't remember exactly where it was. It was in this area, it was 4% for a very short period of time. And as you can see, Beast is handling this no problem. We are going up this mountain like, well, we're going up the mountain. <laughs> uh, we're at 100%, no sand. I don't even think I have sand. And it's doing it. You know, we're, we're not struggling too bad. We're going up at a pretty quick pace, about as fast as a gear train would do it. I, though a gear train, I'm sure, would pull a lot longer of a train. Here we are back on our bridge. I call this like horseshoe bridge I like naming things I think it's fun and we'll see if we can climb the new calamity bridge I don't know if I want to call it calamity bridge uh, we should probably slow down just a little bit here these are kind of steep curves yeah I just saw these rock and oh 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 yeah I'm going a little fast Yeah, we were going a little fast around that corner. It still is pretty, pretty sharp. Let's go take a look. That was still a pretty sharp curve. I kind of wanted it to come like from this direction, but in order to get that, we would have to cut it way back. Like it, it would be a real big bridge and massive. And this bridge actually was my very first attempt at shooting it. So I, I set it at 5% and checked it out and I was like, I kind of like that. And as we came in here, I was like, this is still a little steep, but I figured it was good enough. Uh, I'm not going to redo it. I think that was just going too fast. 
and this this uh, loadout isn't conducive for this. So not a big deal. Um, I did see up here on this bridge that big sharp bend. Let's go take a look at it. Honestly, I didn't see it when I was building this bridge. I was up here just, just making it. And that is way too sharp. So we'll have to figure something out for it. I mean, it looks smooth and all, but it's just real, real sharp. So I'll fix that too. Not a big deal. It might mean I have to replace this entire bridge for the 11th time, but I'll get, I'll, I'll fix it. So, you know, this is kind of a shorter episode. I'm going to, I saved it when we were up there at the iron ore mine. I'm going to reload that save. And that's where I'm going to offload this product because that, that's where I saved it because if I'm going to drag that product up there to that bridge, I might as well offload it and make some iron ore. But I would like to start from there and go from the iron ore mine to the coal mine to see what it needs. Um, I'm guessing that the smelter, let's actually hop down to the smelter really, real quick. Uh, we're just going to run straight there. This will take no time at all to get there. So the smelter produces rails and raw iron. As you can see, we're full on both. Um, so rails, I'm not sure what that's for. Again, I haven't seen any of this game past the smelter or the iron ore mine. So raw iron, let's go back to the map here and see what we got. Raw iron, I'm guessing, needs to go to the ironworks way down south. Uh, the rails, I'm not sure where they're going to go. So I don't know what the coal mine needs. I don't know what the oil field or the ironworks or the refinery needs. So let's go explore the coal mine because that's where this load sa this uh, save game is stored at. The locomotive is up there at the iron ore mine. And we can easily run over to the coal mine, I'm guessing, from there to see what it needs. Because that's going to tell me what's going to be going up this route uh, product-wise. And I need to start figuring out what to do with these products here. So let's cut here and we'll see you back up at the iron ore mine. All right, and just like that, we're back, but we're back and derailed. So I don't know if this is a bug or what. It just loaded in and we're moving this train down the hill. So that's kind of concerning. Hopefully that is uh, not a bug, or hopefully it is a bug and they get it fixed. Uh, if not, then I guess I'll just have to re-rail it. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look at our map here. We're back up here at the Iron Ore Mine with Beast and the train. I think if we just head due, due south, we'll find the coal mine. This will be my first visit there. So, I'm going to head straight up and over this mountain if I can get up there. This seems like what I do a lot in this game is just running. But it is what it is. It is good fun. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's super cool. Hopefully we get to bring a train over there. That'd be so cool to see. Okay, so... Iron ore mine... Or, excuse me. Keep calling the iron ore mine. I'm stuck on that now. Uh, the coal mine should be in this area somewhere. I'm thinking. Are we getting close to it? No, no, we're a ways away. Okay. That's just so cool. Oh, is that it over there? Wow, that's we're a ways away from it. Is that it? Maybe. Okay. Well, let's jump off the mountain. <laughs> Go running through this valley. 
You know, I thought that this would be a really quick trip to get over here to see this coal mine. This game is so big. I thought it was just going to be like up and over the side of the mountain and we'd be there. I was wrong. It's a long ways. I'm not even sure where I'm at anymore. I'm right around the coal mine area, I believe. There it is. Okay. Nice and flat here. That's good. Looks like there's like a natural path right here. This could have been left over from the, where the developers were testing something. Oh, maybe not. It's kind of far away from the platforms. So, it looks like... Okay, we need beams. 20 of them, so not very many. That's just a couple of cars. Here's the coal. It's actually really real. That's actually really realistic. Coal and rails. Oh, okay. So rails probably for going inside the mountain for their little iron cars. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, why would somebody need rails? We're the railroad, so we we need the rails. <laughs> so I want to see the mine. Can we actually see the mine itself? Is it like a big hole in the mountain kind of a thing? Or it's just this little shack here. Uh, SR Mining Co. Huh, cool. All right, so rails uh, is produced by the smelter. So beams and rails. So that means we need to climb that grade with beams and rails. How many rails? Uh, 50. I don't know how much rails weigh. I need to do some research into the train. We'll have to do some switching there at the smelter, obviously, and get a different locomotive or... Or another train set up uh, made together for beams and rails to get up here. I kind of want to go check out this awesome waterfall back here. I had no idea this was here. That is so cool. Can I get a good view of it? That is so cool. We're going to go check it out. Well, I've decided that uh, maybe running all the way over there to check it out. Is it so grand? I'm still heading to, heading that way after I made that decision, but I realized that the smelter makes uh, the wrought iron as well, and we need to figure out where that goes because we need to start hauling that out of there as well. I'm not too sure, so maybe we should go take a look at the other places instead of checking out waterfalls. <laughs> That's kind of my, my thought process that I, I had for a second, but you know we're we're only a few minutes into this video it seems like so. Uh, we'll go check out this waterfall really quick, and then we'll uh, shoot back, respawn back at the freight depot, and head south and go check out those other ones to see what they have for product requirements and what they're going to make. So wow, that's it's kind of blocky, but that is so cool. And this is that river. I'm guessing that this is that river that flows. To the next waterfall down by the smelter, I would assume. I hope we get to come down this way. I wasn't looking for doing a route or anything. I'm not even sure which end of the map we're on. Oh, we're way, way, we're way far away. If we need to come over here... Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But we might. I don't know. I haven't done any scouting over here yet. Super cool waterfall. Is there anything behind it? We gotta go behind it. Of course not. Can't get in there. Pushing forward. Can't get in there. It is what it is. Super cool waterfall. Uh, there is a waterfall similar to this where I live. Near where I live. Uh, not nearly as big. But still super cool. I do like waterfalls. So alright, let's go ahead and respawn. Back at the freight depot. And go check out the other ones. All right, I think we're coming up here on the oil field. There it is through the trees. Let's see here. Well, that's a big place. That's so cool, these derricks. I don't know much about oil. Nice. 
steam driven. They look like they got little fires inside those little houses. Okay, so here's our crude oil. Uh, I don't think we're producing any crude oil yet. Uh, what do they need? Steel pipes. I'm not sure where we get steel pipes yet. Beams, again. And tools. Okay, what does it produce? I'm guessing oil. We've got vats of crude oil. Where do we get it from, though? So is that what we get? We give them steel pipes and beams and tools. So they got the beams for the derricks, I'm guessing. The steel pipes for their piping and drilling needs. And tools for fixing stuff, maybe? I don't know. Um, but where do we get the oil from? Do we pull along these things? I'm not sure. This looks like the only platform here. So, I don't know. Danger. Keep lights and fire away. Is crude oil that flammable? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Huh. Interesting. So, we'll figure that out when we get here. Obviously, we can't make steel pipes or tools yet. So, let's head on to the next one. Is there a spot over here? Sorry, this is this is like walking on an alien planet for me right now. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't think I've watched anyone get to this point yet. I know I haven't watched anybody get to this point yet. So, let's see. Uh, we need to go that way ish to the ironworks so we'll see you over the ironworks i think i see it off in the distance there i think that's the right one yep it's got to be the right one we'll get over there as quickly as we possibly can this is the ironworks this is where i thought we'd be taking the materials from the smelter uh wrought iron i believe and the rails but rails is needed at the coal mine. And they got trees just like right up close to their building. That's strange. So steel pipes. We deliver steel pipes here? No, these got cranes. So this is where we pick up steel pipes. This is what they produce. Okay, so they produce steel pipes that's needed at the uh, oil field. And they make tools as well. So that's fantastic. So they make stuff for the oil field, which is just on the other side of this little hill that way. Over here, maybe? Let's see. What is this? Oh, is this coal? Oh, they take coal. Okay, so we need to bring coal from the... Oh, okay, that makes sense. So... Well, kind of, sort of. Like the smelter, you would think, would need coal. But the ironworks need it for their forges. That makes sense. So, and they need probably iron ore. Or, uh, raw, raw iron. Okay, so the smelter makes rails. I'm trying to work all this out in my brain. <laughs> I, I know, my I'm, I'm limited in my IQ here. So, the smelter makes rails for the coal mine. The coal mine makes coal for the iron ore, no, for the uh, iron works. And they also need the raw iron that's made by the smelter to make tools and steel pipe for the oil field. And then I'm guessing we have the refinery left. They need the oil, which I'm not sure where to get it yet from the oil field, at the refinery. So let's head on over there. I'm guessing that's how it works. Let's head on over to the refinery. Am I going the right way? There we go. We'll go that way. And see what else they might need. Because, again, you know, who, who knows what they need. They might need, you know, Mickey Mouse ears or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. So, uh, we'll, we'll cut here and check it out when we get there. Alright, we gotta be getting pretty close to that refinery. Let's turn off the map here a little bit. Um, uh, we've been pretty flat, and all of a sudden there's this little hill here. So let's climb this hill, maybe we can see 
It's coming up here. We should be coming up to there. It is at the top, top of this little hill. Fantastic. More little hills to get up to. Oh, cool fire. I like fire. Fire is really neat. <laughs> cool. All right. So they need crude oil, offset platform, steel pipes. And a third one? What is that? Lumber? The big old tree growing right out of the middle of it? Yeah, it's lumber. Is there any more? I don't think so. I think that's the three. Well, those will be fun to, fun to deliver. Alright, let's run around this side. What do we get? Do we get gasoline? That's what you make from oil, right? Is gas? Uh, oil barrels. What do we, what do we do with oil barrels? Those steps under their platform, they just go nowhere. That's interesting. What do we do with oil barrels? Is that just something we sell and make massive money? I don't know. Okay, so we need to come up with a plan here. Let's uh, go back into the map, take a look here. So. The smelter is producing raw iron and rails. The coal mine needs beams and rails. And the ironworks needs coal from the coal mine and the raw iron. So we need to run a train from the... Huh. We need to run a train from the sawmill with beams to the smelter, pick up rails, take them to the coal mine, offload the beams and the rails, pick up coal, run it back to the smelter, pick up raw iron with the coal, and deliver that to the ironworks. We'll then take those products to the oil field, and then take those products to the refinery, pick up these oil barrels, and take it to the freight depot. I don't think any other industry needs oil barrels. I don't remember seeing oil barrels used at any of the other, any of the other industries that we saw. So, but that's a lot of running around though. We gotta go from south, uh, southeast, way up north, back down to southwest. Like the three corners of the map almost. Oh my gosh. Those are long runs. But, that's what this game is all about. <laughs> so, I think that's going to do it for this game, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below if you have any suggestions about what you would like to see or have any suggestions about where we'd like to take our railroad. And again, I do read all the... Uh, comments and suggestions you guys leave. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a good night, and we'll catch you on the next episode.